Jesuit House Diary, entry January 18, 1909. A little after 6.30 a.m., fire was discovered under the east staircase of the chapel, cause unknown. In less than 20 minutes, the entire chapel is reduced to ashes. The east wing of the college takes fire under the roof. Most of the clothes of the boys were saved from the flames. About two-thirds of the library books were reduced to ashes. The study hall desk and the boys' class books were all removed before the study hall caught fire. Beds and beddings in the dormitories were a total loss. The fire could not have been controlled for want of water under proper pressure. The center and west wing of the college were saved by the firewall that separated the east wing from the central part of the building. As soon as the flames had sufficiently abated, the work of reorganization took place. The furniture, books, and clothing were removed from the premises to the rooms in the house. A dormitory for the junior division boys was improvised in the senior division gymnasium. Beds, mattresses, blankets, and pillows were procured in town, and by night all were at house as comfortably as could be expected. Some friends of the college opened a subscription list on the grounds, and about $10,000 are subscribed for the immediate rebuilding of the destroyed parts of the college. Dio gracias. No lives were lost and no one was injured.